Hi, Hollywood Lifers. Hey, I think we really have to talk about this Mel Gibson battering situation. What I don't understand is, why is everyone obsessed with what is going to happen with Mel's career? I, I've gotten called by a lot of TV shows. I've been on TV talking about Mel. And of course, that was the big question of the week. What's going to happen to Mel's career? Is he finished? Is he toast? Is he done in Hollywood? Is anyone going to want to work with him? What I don't get is, why is nobody asking about Mel being a batterer? Is, like, why is Mel going to even have a career when he's battered a woman? Look what happened to Chris Brown. When he battered Rihanna, he, he practically, I mean, he was a young guy. He was only 19 years old, and yet his career was virtually destroyed. He's, he's trying to make a comeback. But his, his career has taken a terrible beating after the beating that he gave Rihanna. And yet, and he was, he was totally criticized for beating her up. And yet Mel has not been. It's the, there's been a focus. I mean, we've talked about the tampering of the, video, the tapes that Oksana made. She made tapes, yes. I think initially she made the tapes to as a protective measure for herself and her daughter whether or not they've gotten used by a now you know now that they're in the press I think people are suspecting her motives but that doesn't change the fact that he did punch her in the mouth there's now pictures to see how her teeth were chipped she claims he hit the baby and she's um and, and, I mean, you've all heard how viciously he verbally abused her, called her every name in the book, threatened to kill her, going to burn down her house, bury her in the Rose Garden. Why is that not seen as battering? That is verbal abuse. It is battering. So why are we not hearing from any women's groups? Why are people not rising up and, t and calling him to task? Tell me what you think. I don't get it. Okay, thanks, Hollywood life Lifers. Bye.